Bruno wow. is rubbing on the kickstand. You gonna bend the kickstand the other way? I need to. You want the couple? Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! We almost had a oh! Jeez. Oh. Man, that was always rocking the wheelie oh. on this thing. Oh man, we almost had a catastrophe. The, the kickstand's already rubbing on the wheel. Well, let's tell, let's talk to the camera. Already. I just did. I don't want to like bend the kickstand. I mean, we're gonna lose the kickstand anyway. But. So that's that's a downer on it right off the bat. Okay, that's how to bend it. That's a downer. That goes against it. Mark one right there. Noted. All right, we'll see when we get back. Cats me out. Right. Real time review. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Tank Top Tuesday. First oh, of all, so, yeah. I didn't realize. On today's episode, we are going to be taking the Mongoose Ardor Project Ron Burgundy, as we have Ardor. nicknamed it. Very fitting. I had a heck of a time on this bike, and I think you guys will enjoy Is that the most me. fun you've had from the $300? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be the most fun I've ever had for under $300. Okay. Yeah. Under $300 bike, 27.5. We got the 2.6 inch tires on that thing. Um, I tried to send it as much as I could. I'll let you guys be the judge, kind of like we did on the forks. Would you guys buy this vi uh, this bike after this video is up? Would you guys buy this bike for under $300? Let us know in the comments. But before we get to the real-time review on the Mongoose Ardor, we are going to do a little bit of uh, everybody's favorite segment, the viewer's rides. Oh, is it bullying? Uh-huh. We've got some viewers' rides today. There is definitely a mishmash. What would you call that when there's just a whole bunch of a plethora? Is it a, a plethora? plethora of bikes? A plethora? We've got some some bikes, buddy. Like, just all over. I don't know. I might have to, have to get ready for some wackiness and there's some bad compositions. And... Uh, you might. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. There's going to be some interesting stuff in the viewers' rides. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and get to that. We'll get to the real-time review. And then after we get done with the real-time review, while we're out in the trails, we're going to talk about the bike a little bit. And remember, let us know. $300 or less, would you buy? this thing all right you ready viewers rides here we go this is jeremy b or our lift is on you see on the channel this is his medium gt aggressor pro it's pretty stock right here okay yeah, we're gonna go stock. through some upgrades that's that he's some, done some and then mud, we'll see mud flaps there mm -hmm. yeah he's got some mud flaps um got good color coordinating yeah, the just the, the mud flaps look good and hidden on this bike. I'm not a big mud flap guy. He's got the blue. Well, he and black did really seat. good by making them not stand out. Yeah, I mean they're they're good and like yeah they just blend into the bike. But we're gonna go through some upgrades that he's done. <laughs> Is it the looks that you don't like the mud flaps or the functionality? The looks. They just look oh. bad. All right, now these are some upgrades that he's got going on. Okay. I believe that's a buckless fork. A, a good tires. No, yes, no. he's got the yeah. um, the Goodyear Escapes. My favorite tires. He's got them on there. Yeah. This is a uh, wake stem. A 720 wake bar, some MT200 hydraulic brakes, a uh, Jessica headset. Sorry, Jason. <clears throat> 180 millimeter rotors, and of course the Bucklow's fork there. Now, you ready to see the bike uh, with these yeah, upgrades I, on it? I'm, I'm excited now. And snafu grips. It does not look freaking awesome. I mean, the big problem with most of the GTs, I think, and the whole consensus is that the the stem that it comes with, I think it's a 70 millimeter or 90, it's way too far out, and it makes people uncomfortable. I wonder if he did that on purpose with the tires. Did he stage the tires on purpose, or was that just a roll up and then put it there? Because I like that how this one's got good year up top, uh -huh. and it's got escape on top. Yeah. It's kind of good. The first thing I noticed was the tires. Yeah. When, when you showed me this picture, mm -hmm. first thing I noticed was the tire, then it was the fork. And then the stem and stuff like that. It's funny, the tires are the first thing I noticed. Yeah. It's a, a it really, really good really looking nice. bike. Looks, I love the blue and the black. Like with a big white wall. Is that, would and that, all that be blue? Wouldn't that be teal? I don't, know. I don't know. Jeremy B. R. Lift, nice bike. And I'm curious. I'm curious. You know, one thing I'm surprised on? Most of our viewers seem to, the first thing they want to do is change the uh, change to a one by. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if he's happy with the three by. All right, next bike picture we got <laughs> see you, now you're fucking with me i knew that i knew you were going to just by the way you're acting <clears throat> how do you like that bike <laughs> uh, i don't i don't I, I see i see tires are the same color as the dirt okay well uh this is what we got going on here now there's more upgrades and we know all I like the landscape yeah we know all about this guy in the channel this is bob havens oh this not, is not 
Bob Evans. Evans. Yeah, not Bob Evans. Yeah, so all he doesn't you potato... make your favorite mac and cheese and potato and mashed potatoes and all yeah, that. Yeah, all you frozen food, cold food lovers out there, not the guy, but he does have a Schwinn Axum, and that's what that bike is. And one cool thing, he bought some coffee a while back, and something that was cool about it well, is he said, man, I would not have bought the L2 group set um, without you guys um, LT reviewing it first. Yeah, the LT. Woo! Hey, are we going to get to see the bike, or am I just going to look No, that's it? the thing. You ready for the next picture? Here yeah, we go. Let's see. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got some Bob Evans going. Yeah, that's how great. cool does he look? He looks yeah. like he's rocking the look. Got the looks, Santa Cruz hat, the Bob Evans. It I mean, looks like he's about to enjoy some good mac and cheese. Uh huh, and to get back out on the trails. He just sent this picture in, and I don't even, you know, just email of his bike from a mile away. And then he uh, sent that picture, and I thought it was classical. I was like, you know what? Not somebody that's like, put me to Beer's Rides, put me to Beer's Rides. Just somebody that's like, hey, man, and having fun with us, making fun of his name. Yeah. We yeah. Bob Evans is a sponsor of this channel and give us some, some food. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Bob Evans, appreciate the picture. That was funny. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Man. Good sport. Yeah, it looks like I think he's out in uh, Las Vegas. We like to mess everyone's names up, so. All right, next picture. You ready? This one here is a very cool bike. This is something that I would like to build on the channel. Look at that. Oh, man. Isn't that thing pretty sweet looking? This it is it looks Timber. Like a dirt jumper. Yeah, this is Timber Nations. This is a standard 26 DJ BMX racing bike. That's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. uh, Homeboy's been racing for 38 years. Wow. It's got a Manitou Circus. Manitou? Manitou. Man Manusha. Manusha. Fork up front. And um, it's a profile. He's running profile classic hubs on it. Uh, it's uh, got an IXF crank set. He's running a Maxxis. I just like the simplicity of it. It's about time. Yeah. You know, he's been racing with something that's neat. We got he's something got something I have plans on to do this. He's got a uh, just one hydraulic brake on that thing. I guess yeah. no front brakes with racing. No, no front brakes. Hmm. You're too young. You don't know about the '80s and '90s, but it was all about well, mainly '80s, '70s, mm -hmm. and '80s. But it was all about. You know, you had your rear brake, and that's all you needed. Yeah. You, you know, you didn't need more than that. And then there was some people that like to do tricks and stuff that would have front brakes and all that. But now, for for racers and all that, rear brake only. Um, I like the uh, IXF crank set, and he's got those mm -hmm. clip-in pedals or clip pedals. How the hell does that work whenever he's racing? I, I mean, I'm sure you don't want your I, foot slipping I, I off. Think, damn, what? No, but I think he get, it probably helps him a lot when he's racing, not when he's wrecking. So Timber much. Nation, have you crashed with those? Let me know. Oh, I'm sure he has. I'm curious. He's running Maxxis DTH 2.4 up front and a Snafu 2.35 in the rear. And uh, that's him there. Isn't oh, that a wow. cool picture? That's a sick picture. Now, man. something cool about Timber Nation. He's been racing for 38 years, like I said earlier. All BMX style stuff. And uh, Homeboy is uh, a, di a dialysis patient. Homeboy? Really? Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, you know, don't let nothing get in your way. That's that's pretty yeah, cool, man. Yeah, wow. Yeah. What's, so that's what? some uh, determination to be a dialysis patient and be racing. Berserker Nick would probably enjoy that story a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Berserker yeah. Nick definitely enjoy it. And I was thinking about Berserker Nick with that bike since it's a BMX yeah, style, old school. Yeah. yeah. So, very cool. Termination. Appreciate you sending in the pictures, man. And uh, good luck with the dialysis stuff, man. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Nice All right. bike. Next fella we got is John oh, Matthew T. Now, this is his... 2020 GT Verb Sport full suspension. I figured it's been a little while since we had a full suspension. Has it? And it's a GT. This is a bike that I was wanting to get. It's just they don't carry it at Dick's, and we didn't think it would be all that great. Is it, is it is it in America at all? Like, do they sell it in America? They sell it in America. Yeah, yeah, you can get it on um, on Dick's site, but you just can't get it in store. Oh, you know, is the it's thing. not a floor we, model. Yeah, it's not a floor model, but uh, this is a uh, yeah Verb Sport. Um, and he's I only like done a colors. few. He's on, yeah, the colors are neat. I like the design of the frame, mm -hmm. um, and it's a GT full suspension. So this is, might be something that I'd like to get in the future. And he's only done a few updates. I'm gonna go with it's probably. I don't know how budget it is though. I think it's uh, seven something. Oh, okay. uh, seven or eight yeah. something. Uh, so it's still our full uh, suspension budget. Like is like at twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's got DD lockjaw grips on there, uh, chromatic synth pedals, and um, a Topeak tri bag on it um, and, and not very much upgrades but I kind of like that you know um, he's writing it for what it is now this is one thing I want to know everybody out there we always ask you questions on different things what the hell is that thing leaning up against what is that is that a part of a water fountain what is that that's into a chair <laughs> I could stop looking at it last night when we were looking at the pictures it looks or like it looks like it you're right you the cover it, it of a looks water like fountain a fountain's cover uh -huh. that's been used for a back to a chair yes but then it kind of has a rounded thing at the bottom like a propane tank's been sitting in there I, wolf tick nation we need your help we, what we the hell is that thing help. that he's leaning up against 
I'm curious, like uh, that uh, rear uh, shock that we just got, if we could, if you could throw that sucker on there, you know, and really lighten that bike up. But it's a really cool looking frame. I just, I really like it. Yeah, that is that. That's I mean, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so John Matthew T, love the build. Let us know, man. What do you plan on doing to the bike? You're going to be doing a rear shock on this thing, um, and not that you have to. No, I don't. I, I mean, but but yeah, I'm with you. Like, I'm curious. It's such a good platform. It yeah, looks like it. Really I mean, good platform. I love the look of it. Yeah. All right, now last that we've got. Now, much like Timber Nation's bike, I said that's a build that I would like to do. This is a bike that I've been wanting for a while, at least the brand name. And I don't know, I think this might be the first brand of bike of this style that we put on this channel uh, before. Right, this is a Diamondback. Look at oh, that thing. Oh, man. Uh huh. This is Tofi Kabi. Kabi? Tofi Kabi. This is his Diamondback. 2017 overdrive comp. dude is that just a sick looking bike or what i've always wanted to do a diamondback build on this channel because for the most part academy carries them but they're always out of stock i love the i love the 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 look of that bike mm -hmm. check out that that's just a little back um picture of it there he's got a oh, rock thank shot. you, oh, thank yeah. you. Uh, that's that's the back of the bike appreciate he's it he's got a rock shot recon one 120 uh, Milmer travel on there. He took it from far away, but he's got he 11 did. speed Ceram NX group set. Yeah, but I mean, you got to appreciate the landscape of which it's in. Yes, and that's one thing uh, is I, I liked. I think it's in Florida, maybe. I don't know. Uh, he's got tubeless wheels. I don't know. It's Ready Fort Max is the front rear. I'm just wondering, like, what size is your frame? Because it just does anybody have any uh, history with standover height on Diamondbacks? That looks very it, tall, you know. Yeah, it does. But it's a but really he might good be a bigger bike. guy. Yeah, he might be. Um, but uh, he's got the uh, tubeless wheel set there for it. He's not running tubeless, but he's got it ready just in yeah. case. But a very good looking bike, Tofi. I like the Diamondback. Um, I'm just wondering, is that the one that Academy carries for that price? Is that our fork on there? Uh, no. Well. That was the viewers' rides segment, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys appreciated it. I like all the different pictures oh, in the yeah. mishmash. Stay down here. Stay down there, yeah. yeah. In the mishmash of bikes. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Yeah, so am I. I've not eaten anything. Let's go eat. Okay. Well, let's right. get out of here. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> hey, guys. Keep it between the navigational beacons. Yeah. Guys, appreciate you watching the viewers' ride segment. Very cool segment. I know everybody loves it. We have a ton of pictures, and that's a good thing because we'll probably keep this segment going for at least a little bit longer throughout the summer. But let's go ahead and get to the Mongoose real-time review. We'll see you guys out in the trails. The cat's meow. You're going to enjoy it. You will enjoy it. Let's do yeah. it. All right, guys. Well, you guessed it. We are here. The cat's meow. Well, it's up there, but we're fixing to do a little real-time review action for you with the all-new Mongoose Ardor. Right no. The Ron Burgundy. Please. Thank you. The Ron Burgundy. It's official. Uh, remember, this is all stock right now, right out of the tore up box that we got it out. Hopefully, I don't. Are, it. We are going to add something though. What are we going to add? We're going to do a chainstay protector. Oh yeah, we got to add the Robert Fraser chainstay protector. He sent us some. Just Middle to avoid. In and out man. Yeah, just to avoid messing up this awesome paint job. I'm going to try to send it on the cat's meow as much as I can, and I don't want to say, hey, I'm going to try and break this bike, but. I kind of want to send it really hard and see if something breaks. So it's going to be interesting. I might be walking back. First time on the Ardor. And uh, it feels pretty good. I'm liking it. I mean, I just got on this thing and it doesn't feel crazy weird to me. Let's see how this shifting does. 14 to 38 tooth Pro Rush rear freewheel. Okay. Not bad climbing at all. Doesn't feel bad. We'll see how these tires do. Somebody was asking in the comments, is it similar to the Axum DP's tires? Yes, very similar to the tires. Hell, they might be the same exact tires, just with a different brand on them. And uh, of course they're 27.5 as opposed to the 29ers. That, and then we'll talk about a little bit if I can maybe uh, compare it to another bike that it feels like. Um, but right now, everything's feeling pretty solid. All but the uh, the front fork is already kind of making that noise where it's kind of trying to shoot out from itself. Hopefully it doesn't shoot out on the trail. But man, am I happy to be on another 27.5? 17 inch frame, the Ardor, under $300. It's already got the one by. And it comes with the Pro Rush, although it's not very good it still comes with a derailleur that has a clutch on it 
I mean, how many bikes and big box store bikes can you say under $300 that come with that stuff? So we get to the cat's meal. I am curious on how the uh, how the derailleur is going to do as far as keeping this chain on the free wheel back there. It's already kind of popping really bad. And remember, we don't uh, tune bikes or anything like that before we take them out. Uh, we want to show you out there what to expect. You know, some people just, they don't know how to do it. Maybe they just think, hey, we're gonna get this bike, we're gonna put it together and you're gonna ride it. And that's what happens a lot. So we made sure bolts and nuts and things were tightened, but tried to not adjust anything at all. Um, just to kind of real time it really for you guys. Now, one of the big questions I had for myself was, how is that seat gonna feel? Now, today I'm not wearing any padded shorts, and the seat is not bad, people. It's one of the ugliest seats I've ever seen on a bike. It's so funky looking as far as the design and dimensions of it go. It doesn't look like a normal seat. It kinda looks like one of those really ugly dogs with the long face, the target dog, whatever dog that is. That's what the seat reminds me of. And it feels a lot more comfortable than it looks. So I'm happy with that. Now the overall riding position, I'm 5'5". Five five. Dude, this thing fits me pretty well, man. Again, with the medium frame. See, and what's funny is the uh, Schwinn Aluminum Comp, that bike there, it's got a small frame too, well, medium frame, I believe. But what's weird with it is it feels so tight in the cockpit, you know? This top tube has definitely dropped down a lot more. And that little triangle weld right on the uh, top of the seat post gives it this illusion. And I mean, it really feels this way, so I guess it's not too much of an illusion, but it really makes the bike feel a lot bigger than it truly is. Uh, they've gotten that down right. I'm not like struggling to reach my arms out, but I will say I was a little against these oversized handlebars in the beginning going, well, what the hell makes them oversized? They're 750s, but they feel really good with this bike. 780s might be overdoing it on this frame. You might be kind of stretched out and reached out. Um, very, very good combo with the stem, the 50 millimeter stem. I'm digging it. I mean, it feels really well up front. And as I said, it doesn't feel like I'm being stretched too much with it. And it doesn't feel like I'm too much crowding on myself like I was with the aluminum comp zerker before we started upgrading it. This bike here feels like I have plenty of room and it feels like I can really maneuver uh, whenever it comes to uh, having to get out of a pickle, a pickle. So we will see uh, when we come up here on the cat's meow. Now the tires are doing a pretty good job. I thought they do pretty good on this type of terrain. We'll see on the cat's meow again when we go downhill if they track. There's a certain tire test area I like to hit. I'm going at a pretty high rate of speed right before we hit one of the tabletops. It's a little sketchy um, and most tires will tell the tale how, how good or how bad they are on that turn. So I'm kind of worried about that, but they're doing well right here. And uh, the front fork is doing nothing whatsoever. I am worried about that. I'm gonna try and send it on the spike and get some air today. And I hope I don't bend the bars or hurt myself because I don't think this fork has got any kind of movement in it whatsoever. I mean, that thing is stiff from when we unboxed it to stiff from when I got on it. So that's gonna be interesting. And all this talking, we're already at the cat's meow. Holy crap. We're already at the cat's meow. That was like such a quick trip. Jeez. Just cruising along, man. The Pro Rush did fine. We're going to test these brakes out. Uh, I don't know about them. They're a little sketchy. All right, guys. Well, here we are at the cat's meow. Very, uh, I mean, just pleasant ride up. Hell, it really didn't take anything for me to ride this bike up here. Let's get these cameras ready. Let's get this dropper or the seat post, sorry, dropped. And let's get ready to hit the cat's meal. See how she does downhill. Hopefully we got some brakes towards the end because I'm going to need them. I'm going to try and send this thing. Go cat's meow. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Everybody's favorite test track. We've got the Mongoose Ardor 27.5. 2.6 inch tires. Let's see how she does. Get a little rubbish back there on the kickstand still. We'll see how she does. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm ready topped out. I'm ready topped out on the uh the gearing back there i'm in the 14th to seventh speed seventh gear and uh, i wish i had some more oh i wish yeah baby i wish i had some more uh, gearing back there because i'm ready to hopped out on the top speed man oh wow is this bike comfortable already to jump it just stays directly under you 
pretty well balanced. We've got some more whoops and we got the uh, triple tabletops. Here we go with the one. Oh, two, woo -hoo -hoo. three, baby. Whoo. Oh my gosh. All right, what a freaking rush going down that so fast. Okay, let's do my little drop or my little stop here. Let's see how everything is looking as far as uh, still being together. I'm getting some more rubbage down here. And what's weird is it's not like the tire is too big for the frame. I think we can fit the 2.8 on this. My dad was saying earlier, it is the kickstand is just getting rubbed to death. And I can bend it out like that, but I don't know how much it's going to help. Damn it. I'm losing a sticker. Ah, I'm losing a sticker people. I don't know if we can continue the, uh, Okay, that, oh, ooh, that could have been bad. I should have tightened that a little bit more. I'm going to, holy crap. Uh, the forks, I mean, I'm bottoming them out and they're, I don't know if you can see that if I'm in close enough, they're bottoming out right there. Maybe 40 millimeters of travel, so not very much. And that's not gonna be expected, but uh, man, this thing is fast, so fast going down the cat's now. Let's continue. We got the uh, spot between the trees and we got that little turn with the tire test track. A little turn with the tire test track. We've got the, trees and then we've got the you know we'll see all right let's gain some speed here yeah just definitely the uh, top speed was killing me Ooh, gosh thought i broke something top speed man that front wheel looks straight too which i'm happy about all right here's the uh my little tire testing area golly i can just absorb these things really nice oh sh had to hit the brakes. Oh, oh sh Topping it out. Whew. Had to hit the brakes. My hand is still tightened on the lever. Look at that damn thing. <laughs> that back was not wanting to catch it all. Holy crap. Um, no suspension whatsoever. And those tires just about put me on my ass. God, this bike is going to be a freaking blast when we get to upgrading it, guys. Handlebars feel really good as far as the width goes, 750s. I think it's all to do with the uh, just the overall geometry with the stem on this bike. It feels it feels amazing, man. The bike feels very good. But one thing that's really nice is uh, the chain protector, the chain stay protector that uh, Robert Fraser sent us. Let me let me show you guys that. You have to see this. This chain was slapping so freaking hard. It ate all the way through that. I mean, that thing was jumping, buddy. I'm so glad we got this thing on there. That saved that chain stay. Oh my gosh, it saved that chain stay. But wow, what a fun ride going down the cat's meow on this bike. This Mongoose Ardor uh, Project Ron Burgundy. Wow. Let's go back up to uh, the truck or go back down to the truck. And uh, we'll talk about it, guys. We'll do a little outro. Whew, man. Ah. I had a lot of high hopes for this bike. And man, am I glad I did like... I was trying to find different things that were wrong with it, going down the cat's meow, going up to it. The comfortableness of this bike, I think that's a word. The comfortableness of this bike, it being a medium frame, man, it, it was like, I was talking about it and just doing a real time review. Next thing you know, I'm at the cat's meow. Next thing you know, I'm down the cat's meow. And then now I'm here and it's like, I wish there was more trails to ride right now or on the way back. Uh, man, this bike was a blast. Uh, very happy with it. Um, there's a couple of turns down there. My little tire test turn on the cat's meow before we hit that big tabletop. I'm um, going to the switchbacks. I definitely lost some control. That back tire tried to get a little slideways on me and slid a little bit, but I was able to keep some speed. Hit that tabletop, come down right before you hit that uh, little switchback. My damn brake lever was completely slammed all the way down to the grip. I mean, there wasn't <laughs> kicking in on the brake department. Whoa. But man, did I have a blast on it. There's a couple things I showed out in the trail as far as that. Uh, I'm glad we got the Robert Frazier chain stay protector on there. A couple things it's on there. pretty good. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the footage back and I'm gonna I show you guys what happened down there. But man, it's uh, pretty well. Uh, the Pro Rush, definitely we need some type of new group set with this bike, if not a whole new rear wheel and a new cassette. But this thing is just screaming to be upgraded. This bike was so much fun. I rode the hell out of it and it didn't break. Uh, not one thing went bad on me. A little disappointed, like I said, with the tires, the 2.6 compass tires. Eh, a little sketchy. And that damn kickstand back there, that sucker was getting rubbed on constantly the entire way down. Every time I started putting weight on the rear end of the bike. So kickstand should be the first thing to go, someone buying it. Yeah, and I think I was going so fast down the cat's meow, one of the chainstay decals flew off. You know, I think, I think. But uh, anyway, guys, well, 
That was another Wolf Tick video episode. We appreciate you guys watching as always. The Mongoose Ardor Project Ron Burgundy. I think it was a success. All of the viewers rides out there. Some very cool stuff. Appreciate you guys sending your pictures in. And uh, guys, we will see you next time.